I sometimes get people asking me about camper vans or above all motorhomes uh, which a large number of people can travel and there are motorhomes on the market which will sleep eight not as many as there once were and probably there's more in the United States uh, this is a vehicle that can take uh, six people eighty and a half thousand euros seven hundred and nineteen centimeters width two hundred length two hundred thirty three uh, with 303 at its highest point and uh, 2 meters standing height inside enormous garage and let's have a look inside double bed at the back width wise contoured as well which lots of people do contoured van uh, contoured beds i think it's really positive and uh, so I said six people, but you know, I, could, I think even, even seven's a possibility. Two people can sleep down here, and uh, two people can sleep up here. So the uh, over cab is, as you can see, it's uh, relatively high. It's not, uh, you know, it's not too bad. There's windows. That'll stop it getting too stuffy. And we have, um, you can have, this one hasn't got it, but you can actually have USBs as well, put um, somewhere near the, near the bed uh, or, or above it uh, in order to charge your phones. This part here will lift up. And this is here on a Citroen basis. This vehicle was on the Fiat, but Fiat is has Fiat has problems producing. It, you make a, a bed up here. The table's enormous, and not only that, it can make it even more, even bigger than that, which is quite good. Four belted positions around this um, table. Here we have this bench uh, as well, which, as I said, I think could be used for sleeping in. We have here a rather large uh, wardrobe, but mind you've got six people in here, you're gonna need a lot of storage. And uh, up there as well. Uh, storage up there, here's a large fridge. And kitchen. Now here is yeah, storage all the way around. Three burners here. And here is a clever thing. I really quite like this. I don't really know why they put this in the kitchen. Maybe it's so you can throw your rubbish down there. If you think they're carrying a lot of rubbish on you. Because I am really into uh, recycling. If I don't find a place where I can recycle to my satisfaction, I do tend to tend to carry a lot of uh, rubbish uh, around with me. And okay, good. Have a look in the uh, the washroom here. Two um, drainage holes, which I think is good. The point of having two is to make sure that you know you never you never manage to stand on the flat anyway could do with a duck ball though uh, sink is uh, quite reasonable and we have I'll show how this works the sh I'll, I'll just point this in there you can see this comes around like that and so you can have a shower and that, that, I think that's to keep the, the, the toilet clean. Indeed, you can have a shower with the door open. Uh, so if, if this, if I had one of these, because I haven't got a door on uh, my, my toilet, uh, took it off temporarily, and that was six, five years ago. Still, still hasn't gone back on. Right, um, here we have storage. And what I want to do now is to show you what it's like from the outside. Well, I'll go outside in a moment. Uh, and I've got storage all the way around. I quite like this rear uh, bed. 
the way it's been done. It's this uh, much wider at one side than at the other. Let's uh, let's let's go out. Now uh, you'll find more information in the description. Now, this ha does have a payload of 150. There it says, uh, it sort of does give the impression that this is just the rear garage. It isn't, the rear garage is 150, 475 is the entire payload of the vehicle. And that is without special equipment. So if anything's been added to it, then, uh, that's going to be included as well. Um, water, I'm going to have a look at how much the water tank is now, if it's here, if the information is here. I believe it's, uh, um, I believe it's 100, but let's, let's, just, let's just get that right. It's not actually, it's not written here, sorry. Uh, so 100 litres of water, uh, it's 100 kilos, um, six people in there, and all their stuff, you know, that is this is the problem with large uh, vehicles anyway I've got somebody here doing this uh, Hoover in here so I'm going to show you this one as well this Optima on tour I'll have a look at this one as comparison this one here differs by having bunk beds in the back but the rest of it is exactly the same. So I do think that, that, that it really is a problem with carrying large amounts of people in the van. Uh, from, first of all, it's because of the water in the sewage situation. And the second thing, it's the payload. I mean, it just doesn't, in my, my way of thinking, it doesn't make much sense. Now, obviously the 475 does include uh, a certain amount of water and it does include one person uh, so what it really is is it's not all that clear um, there are is a legal requirement for vehicles which is uh, from the European Union which states uh, what it has to be in theory but anyway so uh, thanks very much for watching hope you found it interesting that is the Optima on tour from hobby uh, it says that field plats for a million a lot of space for families it does have a lot of space uh, but I don't really think that the payload is going to meet uh, the demands of the space thanks for watching